Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Senior Market Analyst. In this video I'm going to take you through the Forex week ahead. We're going to take a look at that all important data and some interesting charts to take a look at. So let's go to the data this week and we do kick it off with some US dollar core retail sales and retail sales uh, month on month. Expecting to see a slight decline in Retail sales month on month, core retail actually meant to see a little bit more upside. Uh, what's going to be interesting for me this week is definitely some inflationary data. We've got inflation out of uh, Canada or CPI data and uh, we've also got CPI data in the UK and New Zealand. Now UK, we can see that it's potentially coming in lower at 3.1% which is heading towards that 2 to 3% target range. Uh, that the Bank of England are looking for and BOE Governor Bailey will be speaking a couple of times this week which is going to be something to take note of and uh, what market participants will be looking for uh, is some kind of uh, information on what could happen next or what the BOE could do next. We also have Fed Chair Powell speaking this week as well. Uh, I think that's going to be something of interest. Obviously we had that hot CPI last week and uh, are or is the Federal Reserve Chairman going to be trying to uh, sort of downplay the, the point of inflation again? Um, they said that they didn't see inflation becoming a problem again, but obviously they, they want to see it come in a little bit uh, lower. And we have got a, a hot sort of labor market in the US as well. So it's definitely interesting there. Going on to the strength meter then, just some things to note. Swiss franc starting to gain a little bit of strength now. It was the weakest currency has come back to minus five, so we're starting to see a bit of strength there. Dollar is the strongest currency right now, and uh, you know I don't see that changing too soon, but we'll see if there's any kind of uh, dollar downside maybe, or whether that uh, is going to continue higher. Obviously, it's bullish at the moment. Too early to tell if that weakness is going to come in. Um, another currency that has in interested me, there's the Australian dollar, Australian dollar getting a little bit stronger according to the strength meter, but um, again, it's not something too much to focus on right now. We'll see if it can kind of get into the uh, the fives and above uh, if we can get some kind of reversal at that point. Moving on to the charts of interest then. So the US dollar index, you know, we talked about this last week, especially this previous swing low towards 104. I felt that if price stayed above that, we could see price breach 104.90 heading to the 106. And uh, we actually had the 106 move after the data last week. And we've got a little bit of potential more upside to come. Uh, what's interesting, obviously, for me right now is this four hour time frame, that consolidation between 105.50 and around about 105 you can see a little bit more clear on this hourly chart and i think that if price came back into this level here and started to break back to the upside then that could be an area that traders need to take a look at uh, going forward that being said it's very similar across the majors that i'm looking at this week euro us dollar very strong bearish weekly close below that key area of support which was around what one spot zero six nine seven so is that going to continue to the downside again look at this kind of consolidation that's forming on the hourly and the four hour in here you know is that an area where price could try and uh, reach before seeing a continuation to the downside after such a heavy sort of aggressive week i would expect some kind of pullback before any kind of continuations and the data we have this week it is fairly light although there is some obviously high impact data but it's still fairly light cable i think is going to be the move of this week we've got bank of england and we have fed uh, data coming out and fed speeches so i think cable is going to be the mover Currently, we've broken below that one spot 25, 25 handle. Again, look at the consolidation that's been formed, very similar to what's happened on the US dollar index. I think that would be an area of interest. Consolidation equals volume, okay? So obviously there was buying and selling going on at this area here. Sellers then took price to the downside. So I like the idea of price maybe coming back towards this zone again. Can it reject, can it continue to the downside? Or, you know, do we get that dollar weakness and price breaches back above it? I don't really see that happening too much. It's going to be dependent on the data. Strong weekly close could see some further downside. Finally then, dollar CAD. We've seen a little bit of CAD weakness enter the market and we are trading within this overall weekly range. Um, I am looking to see if price will come and revisit these weekly highs. 
Again, very strong breakout of the 136 handle. So I wouldn't be surprised if we did see a decline before a continuation. One spot 37 could be a good place to look at. Uh, again, on the hourly picture, you can see consolidation breakout. Is this going to be tested again for further opportunities uh, to the upside? That's what I've got time for. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in more videos this coming week. <laughs>